Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we want to learn how to integrate our Asterisk telephony system to Google Cloud Speech API. In part one, we will learn how to use a speech to text API. So we will talk to our Asterisk, uh, we can call our Asterisk system, we will talk and then it will uh, get the stream sent to the Google Cloud and it will convert it to the text. Here I use the vanilla asterisk system to integrate to the Google Cloud Speech API, but you can use the same method for any system with the asterisk core, systems such as VCDL, uh, FreePBX, uh, Isabel, etc. Let me demonstrate how this API integration works. In order to do that, I will log into my uh, asterisk console. This is my Debian box. I will enter the asterisk console by running asterisk-r multiple v's. Uh, how this demo is working is that I have a uh, Zoiper that is registered in my Asterisk system. I will call an extension and then it will play a file, uh, hello world, and then after that, whatever I'm uh, saying, it will uh, send to the Google Cloud API. Uh, it will convert it to the text and then it will show the text in the console to me here. Of course, it really depends on what you want to do with this text. You can send it to an AI system, for example, you can save it in the database for further analysis, or you can convert the text to a speech. It really depends on what is your scenario and what project do you want to deliver. We will discuss some of these uh, items in the next videos uh, in my channel. But for now, what we want to demonstrate is just a speech to text. It will get my speech sent to the Google, uh, um, Convert it to text and we'll show in the console. Let's see how it works. Hi, I'm Omid. How are you? So I said, hi, I'm Omid. How are you? Then it, it didn't detect my, I think, language for the Omid. Of course, yeah, it doesn't know the name. Uh, and the text is, hi, I'm amazed. How are you? So, yeah, this is how the um, a speech to text works in our system. It's not 100% accurate. Of course, there are some settings that you can uh, make uh, and you can optimize the uh, recognition. And also, it has different languages, but it, it is all settings of the actually Google Cloud, not related to integration or the asterisk. But uh, I can say it's uh, working on 90% of the cases. So let's get started and see how we can run such a system. I want to mention that I have documented all the steps that are required for this uh, installation in my GitHub and the link is in the description of uh, this video. So, uh, of course, the asterisk installation is not in the scope of this document, but I have prepared a very s uh, simple way of installing asterisk 18 and Debian 12 that you can find it as the first step in the uh, GitHub as well. So, this is the link, you can click on it, it's a, a wiki page that all the steps that I'm explaining here and all the commands are listed down. Uh, let's explain on the uh, PowerPoint. The, the first step is to install the asterisk. So I installed the, from the source. If you're using a system like VCBox or I don't know, FreePBX, uh, just ensure that you have the asterisk 18 above because the method that we are using, we are using, uh, the method that we are using is supported on asterisk 18 above. If you have a, a VCBox system that you don't want to upgrade the system or it's a very old one, you can simply set up a system uh, as per my instructions here and then have a trunk to your uh, VCDL system or FreePix system so you don't need to upgrade the system. Of course, there are other solutions like the, for example, Docker installation, but I think that's the easier way that I have explained here. So the first step is to install Asterisk, just follow the instructions. We are getting the source code, uh, we are installing all the prerequisites, and then we are configuring and running the Asterisk. The next step is to install the uh, Google Cloud CLI because we want to uh, somehow authenticate ourselves to the API. So you need to install the Google Cloud the actual uh, method is here if you are not using a Debian system. If you're using Debian system, just refer to my link as I explained, but if you are not using a Debian system, uh, you can just click, go to the link, and uh, you will see based on your system, if you have a Red Hat, Mac, Mac OS, Windows, and Debian, of course you are using the Asterisk, so I'm sure you are on the 
Linux, but if you are using Red Hat or CentOS, and if you want to install on the same box, then this is the instruction to follow. If you are using Debian, this is the ones. And just pay attention when you are reading the documentation, it, have, it has some commands for the older operating systems. So for example, it says for the older distributions, you don't need to run all of it. Just read it based on your version because I'm using Debian 12, so it's the newer version and I just need to run these commands. Anyway, I have provided all the steps that are required uh, here as well. So if you are using Debian 12 as I'm using, then just follow and run the commands that I have provided here. Uh, next step is to enable your uh, Google Cloud Speech API. You need to have a Google Cloud API. So let's go to the console that uh, you can see the uh, URL here, console.google.cloud. So just console.google.cloud, if I'm not mistaken or just search Google Console, it's easier. And then you will follow to the, go to the console, and it's console.cloud.google, console.cloud.google. And here, what you need to do, you need to enable the uh, speech-to-text API. Before that, at the top, you need to uh, create a new project or use one of your projects, let me, uh, just, for example, add a new project, just name it test a speech to text and create. That's it. And then you need to enable the speech recognition API for that project. So if I go, for example, to my uh, project a speech to text, if I select it and then search for a speech API. Google text to a speech and also we have Google Cloud a speech API. Let's just search uh, text to a speech and Google text to a speech API and then enable it. And also, we want to enable a speech to text. Cloud a speech to text API. For this, actually, part one, you just need to enable a speech to text API, but in the next part, we will use the Google text to a speech as well. So it's better to uh, enable both. So, but this video, you just need to enable this one Cloud a speech to text API. That's it. So you have your Google account, you have a project, and also you have a, a speech-to-text API enabled. Of course, it's, it will give a trial because my trial is finished. Then I need to pay for it. So uh, just, take care of that. just take care of that, that you need to pay for this service to Google. Of course, we still have one more step here. That's uh, to authenticate ourselves to this uh, Google. So in order to do that, let me go to our console. You need to run two commands, a gcloud init and gcloud authentication application default login. If you run these two, then it will provide you a URL then, and it will give you a token that you just enter the token and then you already authenticated. It's very straightforward, you just run it. Uh, it will uh, copy the URL, put it in the browser and it will give you a token and use that token to answer the question. The next uh, step, actually, the, we need to clone a project that is the AESP, a speech to text project. I have provided the uh, required comments here. It's a, a written code that it will connect to the, it has the required code in the uh, JavaScript that it will connect to the Google Cloud. So what you need to do, you just need to first install the JIT and NPM, uh, then go to CD US or SRC to your folder, clone the source code, go to the cloned uh, folder, and then run NPM install. It will install the code that is uh, in this GitHub repo. It's very straightforward. If you have any questions, just put in the comments and uh, 
I will solve it. The next step is to edit your, uh, actually tell your asterisk that where, the, where is this script that we just installed in the previous step. So you need to go to your etc asterisk folder, edit the aeap.conf. If you don't have such a file and if you are using asterisk 18 above, no problem, just create it and copy and paste uh, this text that you are seeing here. We will say that we want to, we want to run it, we want to connect to the port 1999. This is the port that our code in the previous step will listen on and it will try to connect to the actually Google Cloud. And then what protocol we want to use, a speech to text and the type is client. And the codec that we want to use is uh, EULA. So just copy paste in your aap.conf. The next step is to have a dial plan. So go to your etc asterisk folder and um, edit the extensions.conf. Sorry, not the dial plan.conf, your extensions.conf. I will correct this in the uh, document. And in your extensions.conf, create a context internal. You can copy and paste the same thing in the end of the file. So if you are using, for example, free PBX, then uh, this internal will be from dash internal. If you are using VCBox, this will be default. So copy it in the default uh, context. And what it will do, it will answer the channel, it will use the speech create to create a speech, it will start listening, it will play a file, hello world, that is already in the uh, system. And then, uh, of course, it will automatically connect to the uh, Google Cloud and uh, convert your special text and this no op will just uh, show the text that you have talked so of course this is a variable that you can use later to save in a database or i don't know to send to the ai agent or whatever that you need and this will a speech destroy so this is just one text if you want to make it like a loop then you can use the go to or the different dial plan that you want to use this is how the uh, actually setup is done uh, let me just go to the console and see you the and show you the same configuration that I have done here. Uh, of course, there is a still one step that is uh, uh, connecting and running the index.js. Let me show you what you need to do. You need to actually go to the uh, GitHub source code that we have uh, downloaded and run the index.js so that the application is listening on the port and connects to the Google Cloud. So this is something that you need to do before your test. Uh, let me show you the steps and the configuration that I have explained here. So I log into my system. I uh, just wanted to show you some configuration in the etc asterisk. Here is my zip.conf. Here I just created one zip user so that I can uh, register my Zoeper for the testing. I'm sure you know how to do that. If you are using FreePBX or Vistel, then you have already have a phone and use that one. Uh, then the next file is aeap.conf. Because I'm using Asterisk 18, it has a default configuration that all of them that are strategies semicolon. We don't touch them, just come to the end of the file and copy paste the items that I have explained. Also extensions.conf. In the extensions.conf, this is the extensions that I put in the GitHub and you can copy and paste it and I explained how it's creating a speech and get it sent to the system and then uh, place the a speech. Uh, sorry, uh, shows the speech in the Asterisk console for you. Uh, the last uh, item that I have explained was how to run the application because uh, we cloned it in the USR SRC. If you go to the USR SRC, you will see we have a AAP speech to text. Just go AAP speech to text. Let me clear it. So this is the pass USR SRC AAP speech to text. And uh, just you need to uh, run the index. And the application is running and listening, and now you can just call 550 to test the system. That's it. That's how we are integrating for the uh, speech to text in the asterisk. Thank you for watching, and see you in the next video.